if you are planning to write the TISNET exam this year, here is a quick update for you. The last date for TISNET application is 7th of February this year, that is 2022. And the exam date is 26th of February between 2 to 3.40 p.m. And if you are applying for TISNET, stay with me for the next 10-12 minutes and we shall talk about the last 20-25 day strategy to write the TISNET exam. Before that, if you are interested in joining our free classes on CMAT or TISNET, just message uh, hello to this number 9343921347 and we will be happy to help you with your preparation. So let us start with an overview on the TISNET exam. So you are aware that TISNET exam is conducted for admissions to Master of Arts MA courses offered by Tata Institute of Social Sciences in four of its campuses, Mumbai, Tuljapur, both these cities are in Maharashtra and then we have Hyderabad and Guwahati. So you can apply to a, a maximum of three programs. So if you are interested in these courses, you should definitely write the TISNET exam. The TISNET exam per se is going to have 100 questions which you have to solve in 100 minutes. That is 1 hour and 40 minutes. There are three sections, quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, English proficiency, and general awareness. So QA and LR forms one section alone. English proficiency is the second section and general awareness is the third section. The first two sections will have uh, 30 questions each. The general awareness question has section has 40 questions. There is no negative marking. That's a plus for the TISNET exam. And there are sectional marks, but only for the current affairs or the general awareness section of the TISNET exam. Next, you should be aware that admissions to Tata Institute of Social Sciences are based on your TISNET score, your TISMAT score and your score in the online personal interview. Now, TISMAT you need to apply, uh, you need to write only if you are applying for the HR or the ODCL course. So, TISMAT stands for the Tata Institute of Social Sciences Management Aptitude Test. So, here are the details of TISMAT exam. There will be three sections. The first section will be reading comprehension. The second section will be data interpretation and the third section will be business awareness. So if you have been preparing for any of the other MBA entrance exams, this section, this exam should be a cakewalk for you, barring probably the business awareness section. There will be 15 questions in every section, one mark for every question answered correctly and 0.25 negative marks for any questions answered wrongly. Now we come to the specifics of each segment of TISNET exam. The first is quantitative aptitude. Now if you read the website of Tata Institute of Social Sciences very carefully, very clearly they have written one thing that the level of knowledge tested in quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning is that of class 10th level. So we assume 10th grade CBSE level knowledge will be tested in the TISNET TISNET, quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning section. So these are the areas, again very clearly mentioned, arithmetic, geometry, trigonometry, basic statistics, number theory, data interpretation and analytical and logical reasoning. So questions are mostly simple. <coughs> if you have joined a coaching institute for your MBA preparation, basic sheets of that institute should suffice. And if you are preparing on your own, then just solve the basic questions of R.S. Agrawal or Quantum Cat or level 1 questions of Arun Sharma and that should be sufficient for the TISNET exam. So even if you solve this much, this will be more than sufficient for the TISNET exam. Next, for verbal ability, again very specifically the website mentions that the level of knowledge that is tested is that of the 10th grade, nothing more. So there will be 30 questions based on reading comprehension, fill in the blanks, sentence correction, synonyms, antonyms, odd one out, spelling corrections and verbal reasoning. So we will talk shortly about what to do in these sections but this is what you need to prepare for. You can 
take a you can have a look at any of the sources that you have access to some good books verbal ability and reading comprehension by arihant publication or verbal verbal ability by sujit kumar from the pearson publications so look for good publications when you are looking for books on language you know that's one piece of advice that i would like to give you the third segment is general awareness there are 40 questions based on static and current issues mostly 2021 but i recommend that you should also be aware of the main major news of 2020 and 2019 not in depth coverage but at least a cursory information of major news of the last couple of years this would definitely help you but the website specifically mentions these areas politics social studies science and technology environment arts and culture and indian history my take is the questions if they are static in nature they would be of the class 12 cbsc level nothing more if you want to some good reference books then probably manorama yearbook or the csr yearbook would work for you for static gk and pratyogeta darpan csr monthly magazine would work for you you have to keep in mind one thing that cut off for general category uh, as far as general awareness is concerned is 35% so if you don't score 35% marks you're not going to get a call from any of the test courses and then what should you do in the last 20 days you know that's one important point for you to understand so last 20 days one thing is very sure if you've just started your preparation you cannot prepare in the same way that somebody who has been preparing for the last one year has done so here are some pointers to maximize your chances just focus on sheets focus on level 1 questions of quantum cat or arun sharma or uh, nishit sinha any book that you have your you know you have access to just focus on level 1 questions do them once twice thrice any number of times that you can do spend 2 to 3 hours on mathematics alone every day quantitative aptitude alone every day this should be a good enough preparation for you given the time constraints that you have as far as reading comprehension is concerned try to solve 3 to 4 comprehension passages mostly the government exam level you know 300 words and um, not extremely tough question not the questions of the level of cat you know surely the level of tis rcs is much lower than cat so i would say government exam level rcs would suffice then you can have a look at any of the high frequency word lists if you've not done any word list before look at 1000 words do as many of these 1000 words as you can in the next one month my take is you can easily learn 1000 words in one month if you spend around an hour every day on words there are lists of commonly misspelled words because these are very common categories which appear make sure that you look at the commonly misspelled words those questions are easy actually if you know the commonly misspelled words you know you can get most of them right and you know you don't you it won't take you a lot of time to answer those questions uh, correctly revise grammar rules in english so when i say revise grammar rules it means there are some 7 to 10 types of common errors in grammar you know subject verb agreement pronoun reference errors then errors in the use of modifiers errors in the use of verbs so mood and tense errors and so on so have a look at these common error types try to solve some 10 15 questions on each error type so that you get a hang of uh, those grammar rules spend half of your available time on general knowledge alone now this is very very important for two reasons number one general knowledge section is the only section which will have a cut off of 35% number one number two you can actually by doing well on general knowledge very quickly you can have you can you have a chance to maximize your score especially in the quant section so suppose you feel you find yourself slightly slow on quant if you can answer 40 questions of general knowledge say in 5 to 7 minutes you will get those many extra minutes to answer questions of quantitative aptitude so my suggestion is spend half of your time in gk and general knowledge and current affairs it will really help you and before you face the final exam try to take around 8 to 10 tests so every 2 to 3 days you are taking a mock test of 1 hour and 40 minutes and completely analyzing this mock test in the next 20 days so if you do these things 
it will surely help you in your preparation overall this is all i have to say to you once again i would like to remind all of you that if you want to appear or if you want to take a few free classes on uh, cmat gk or tisnet gk you can just you can just send a hello message to this number 9343921347 and we'll be more than happy to help you or you can log on to www.pathfinderforme.com and you can contact us from there help you and we'll be more than happy to help you that's all for now thank you very much and all the best